Hello, hello. Welcome to Hippo Dad. Man, I got a treat for you guys today. Most people watching this video are probably familiar with Dragon Ball in some capacity. The story follows Goku, a functional retard with the power to punch a planet in half. Goku is like if you combined Forrest Gump with Conor McGregor and then gave him Superman strength. Z is the story that most people are familiar with. You got the Saiyans, Namek, Frieza, Trunks, Boo, etc. This is what most Americans think about when they hear Dragon Ball. The original series follows Goku as a child. It's much more lighthearted by comparison. The original series is less concerned with over-the-top action and is instead more focused on bizarre sexual humor. To date, there have been two attempts at making a full-length live-action Dragon Ball film, the most notable being America's own Dragon Ball Evolution, an embarrassing dumpster fire that certainly haunts Chao Young Fat to this very day. Evolution is total shit. It really deserves its own video, but that's for another day. For today, I'm going to talk about the original live-action adaptation. Turns out, China got into Dragon Ball before it was cool, because they made their own movie back in 1991. It's called Dragon Ball The Magic Begins. Speaking of China, thanks for the coronavirus, you assholes. I sure hope I don't die because some dipshit wanted to flavor their soup with fresh bat anus. A quick note, a lot of the names are different in the Chinese version. I'm going to use the names people are familiar with since no one really gives a shit what they call Bulma or Yamcha in China. Anyway, let's jump on in. Our film opens up in a bustling village. It might not look like China due to the lack of pollution, but that's just what things looked like 30 years ago. This was before the country decided to sacrifice the environment in order to produce Happy Meal toys. The people are gathering for a ceremony to appoint a new village chief. Unfortunately, the village has a Dragon Ball, which is second only to oil for attracting foreign aggressors. This Dragon Pearl is a treasure in our village. It has been with us for over 100 years now. It has watched over us and brought us peace and... Hold the phone. We're supposed to be reviewing Dragon Ball. Isn't this the Hong Kong protest? This is Dragon Ball. But all those explosions. This is not the protests. This is the Chinese Dragon Ball movie. What about all the panic and running? You're just pretending to be confused so you can shit on China again. Yeah, you got me. Hey Alexa, add freshly cut frog buttholes from Wuhan to the shopping list. Fresh cut frog buttholes have been I added. I was joking. Don't you dare order that shit. The delivery driver would probably dead before they even made it to our front door. Jeff Benzos won't even let his driver stop to piss. I don't see him giving his employees sick leave for Wuhan bad aids. Damn right, can I do it again? Cause yeah. I am like so I got to win. Break bread with the enemy. Anyway. The villagers head to the bridge to make a break for it, but they are then cut off by Dollar Store Terminator and his blonde companion. <laughs> I see the new chief is a fan of the Mike Pence method of disaster control. Just pray the problem away. I'm sure Buddha or God or Neo will be more than happy to deflect those explosions for you. We are then introduced to the film's main antagonist, King Horn. My lord, the pearl is in the temple. Then let's go. Man, he looks cool as hell. King Horn looks like a straight up Power Rangers villain. They should just let him rule China. He looks a lot more intimidating than fucking Winnie the Pooh. What do you want? Why are you? I'm King Horn. I want the Dragon Pearl. The Dragon Pearl belongs to us. It's not leaving here. <laughs> I always manage to get what I want. Nobody has ever stopped me before. This is already way better than Evolutions. Give that man an Oscar. I'd rather destroy it! Huh? Calm down, my friend. You mustn't be so stupid, huh? Everybody, pick oh. up the cheer! Let them pass! Quick, let's get out of here! While the Buddhist huddle shuffle appears to be effective at first, the villain was only luring them into a false sense of security. Horn then proceeds to kill everyone with sweet ass force lighting before claiming the Dragon Ball. Man, I can't believe praying didn't work. Alexa, can you believe praying didn't work? I don't know what you want me to say. I was so sure it was gonna work this time. All together, there were a total of seven Dragon Pearls. 
Now, when I finally get all of the seven pearls together... Ah! When that happens, the whole of the heaven and even the whole of the universe will be under my control! <laughs> I don't know exactly where they are, but we'll find them. One thing I do know is that one of them may well be in the east. Ooh, another ball in the east. We're gonna meet Goku. Grandpa? Grandpa, what's up? My boy, I don't care about my own life, but this pearl is very important. We can't lose it. Grandpa, tell me what's going on. Oh my God, is that Goku? Holy shit. He's giving me some serious Mary Martin Peter Pan vibes. Still much better than Goku from Evolutions, though. Damn it! Hey! Goku, right? Did you do that? Uh, yeah. Use your key. Wait, you know about key? God, they set the bar so fucking low. Jesus. Anyway. I can protect you and the pearl from any invaders. <laughs> Good. After a healthy bit of exposition, Goku decides that it's time to train. Fuck yes. <laughs> Let it go. You're blocked. Forget it. I haven't lost yet. You haven't lost yet. So you want more. Right. This is the best fight scene in cinema history. I will fucking fight you on this. Man, this sure is lighthearted and fun. For the record, in the original adaptation, Grandpa is already dead at this point. He was accidentally crushed by Goku after he looked at a full moon and transformed into a giant ape monster. It's also worth noting that over the many decades of Dragon Ball lore, Goku never even entertains the thought of using the Dragon Balls to resurrect his dead grandpa, which he killed. This is mainly because Goku is a selfish asshole with virtually zero education. Grandpa, you've lost this round. What? I... Uh, but you tricked me. I'll get a turkey like you. Oh, you can lick my boots. <laughs> yeah! I've been, I've been, I've been a bee. 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 <laughs> Not gonna lie, I don't have a clue what the fuck that was. To do all the cooking today. Okay, I've lost again. I lose every time. <laughs> hey, the day before yesterday we had a tiger, and yesterday it was lion. So, my boy, what are you thinking of giving me today, then? Huh? Mm. Elephant. Huh? Mm. That may be too tough for my teeth. Okay, how about some fish? Fine. Oh, oh what kind of fish? Crocodile. Crocodile? <laughs> These motherfuckers need to quit eating lions and alligators and shit. This is the kind of behavior that led to the coronavirus outbreak. Note to China, please quit eating weird shit so you don't wipe out humanity with some ancient evil death plague. Good work. Not dead. They're dead. They're toads. So I don't get it. Are they alive in that bag? Why aren't they legging it? He's got like a Sainsbury's bag full of toads. He rips them out, cuts their head off, sticks them in another bin bag. I, I just don't understand why they're eating all this. I mean, at home, restaurants will get closed down for having a cockroach in the kitchen. Yet, here, he's a starter. 
There's a woman over there just tucking in on a bunch of scorpions. Look at her, like she's just having like a bit of a chicken leg. Not a problem, just, just shoving them in the face. She looks at it before she puts it in her mouth, like, oh yeah, which bit will I have first? The head or the arse? I mean, as she's eating one off one stick, she's looking at the other stick, she can't get enough of them. Man, I'd actually hunt if it was like this. Normally hunting involves waking up at 4 a.m. just to sit in a tree soaked in deer piss. How gnarly would it have been to see Bambi's mom pounced on by a flying human and then suplexed to death? Eventually, Goku finds his prey. Oh, here comes breakfast. Hell yeah, Goku, whoop its ass. Do it for Chubbs. That gator took his hand. Oh, I got something for you too, pal. What? <laughs> oh, this looks nice. Remember the gator that got your hand? I got his head. <laughs> We are finally introduced to Bulma, who is of course also looking for the Dragon Balls. Unfortunately for Bulma, she's about to commit vehicular manslaughter. Hey, out of the way, quickly! Goddamn, she's still trying to give the Jeep gas. Calm down there, Caitlyn Jenner. This is going to be hell on your insurance premiums. Buckle up, buckaroo! What a monster! It's so strong! Hey, you're the monster! What do you think you're doing stopping my jeep, huh? That girl looks strange. My god, what's that? Well, that escalated quickly. I guess that's the end of the movie. I'm surprised that Bulma can handle an automatic weapon so well. Normally that skill is reserved for insecure little pussies that can't handle getting rejected by a girl. He's alive! It hurts! What's that magic you use? It really hurts! Calm down, bitch. Use your words. She's trigger happy as shit. Man, Bulma would make a great police officer. Just be sure to plant a gun on him before anyone else shows up. Stop, you won't run away! I'm not a witch, I'm a human being! You are? Look at me closely. But I still feel that you're different from me. Of course we're different. You're a boy and I'm a girl, you know. <gasps> you're a girl? Haven't you ever seen a woman before? No. Oh, yes. I remember he said that a girl chest is bigger than a boy's. Hey, can I take a look? Hey, you can't touch me. Slow your roll, Goku. You can't just go grabbing women like that. You need to amass a certain level of wealth before you can grab women consequence free. I gotta use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the <laughs> I can do anything. My grandpa said that too. He said a boy mustn't touch a girl. He said that those who do are called... Rapists! Wow, Goku has the IQ of a brain damaged toddler and even he understands that. Maybe if they showed this movie in schools, we wouldn't have a whole generation of boys that can barely tell the difference between an unconscious female and a sex doll. Alexa, tweet that last scene to James Franco. Alright, would you like to add a message? Yeah, tell his creepy ass that he's too old to be talking to 16 year old girls on Instagram. I don't care what the legal age is, that's fucking gross. He's already dangerously close to getting a visit from Chris Hansen. I swear, I bet he'd start buying a fuck ton of Girl Scout cookies if they lowered the age of consent to 10. Hmm? Dragon Pearl! Hey, don't touch my pearl! After some deliberation, Goku finds out that Bulma also possesses a Dragon Ball. He then informs her about the four star ball back at his house. <laughs> 
Bomley quickly figures out that the bad guys are also looking for the Dragon Balls. Ranger, will they kill Randa? It's possible. Come on, take me to your house. Yeah. Hey, wait for me! Oh shit, looks like Grandpa's in trouble. Bulma's intuition turns out to be correct, as Grandpa is quickly assaulted by King Horn's henchmen. Unfortunately, Goku arrives home too little, too late. Grandpa! The henchmen have already made off with both Grandpa and the four-star Dragon Ball. It's disappeared. And the pearl? They came from the west. They're probably heading back. Hey! Now, do you know where they've gone? I don't know. Okay. Are you okay? Wow, that blonde is so fierce. Bulma's pretty calm for someone that just survived a shooting. You know, that blonde looks a lot like Ann Coulter. Honestly, I wouldn't be too surprised. Just give her a gun and tell her that you're hunting non-whites and she'd sign right up. You wouldn't even have to pay her. Our heroes continue to give chase. Unfortunately, the budgenator ends up destroying their jeep. Luckily, Bulma has Chinese AAA, so this is only a minor setback. Hey, you want some jerky? I'm not hungry. You miss your granddad? Hey, don't worry. I'm sure he's still alive. Hmm? Huh? I hope I'll find him soon. Maybe, if we find the pearl, then we'll find your granddad. You haven't eaten anything. Come, try some beef jerky. This is very tasty. How do you make this beef jerky? But this is not beef. Huh? Well, then what is it? It's butter mixed with gecko. <laughs> oh, fuck. Look at Bulma's face. She knows that. Please don't make another coronavirus joke. They're eating goddamn gecko meat mixed with spiders. It's not my fault there's like a hundred openings in this movie. You're beating a dead horse. Well, I wouldn't want that. The Chinese would probably just eat it. I really don't want them coughing up blood all over our new PlayStations. PlayStation. Oh, looks like Franco decided to vacation in China. Good call. He knows that what happens in China stays in China, unless it's... Don't, please. <sighs> he knows that what happens in China stays in China. Unless it's the goddamn Wuhan coronavirus. Please send me back. I'm still under warranty. Yeah, fat chance. Anyway, so Franco decides to cover himself head to tail in blackface and is currently zoning in on his target. <laughs> I want you to be my wife. <laughs> I don't want to marry you. You're too ugly. Anyway, I'm too young to be married. Can he legally marry a girl so young? Alexa, what's the age of consent in China? The age of consent in China is only 14. Are you fucking serious? Prostitutes were exempt from this age restriction, but that was overturned in 2015. Oh my god, I hate that fucking place. I can't believe people thought that hellhole was going to be the world's next superpower. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Granddad never mentioned that there were men as dark as this. Wow, look at that nose. He's a monster! Hey! Little boy, keep out of this. Do you know this girl is my bride to be? Bride? Hey, what's a bride to be? You silly boy, don't you even know that? <sighs> <laughs> that monster must be trying to take advantage of her. Go teach him a lesson, and I'll explain to you later what a bride to be is. Right. I don't want this little princess now. I want this big lady here. Hey! Oh, oh. Right. Come and eat you all up. 
So, the pig monster decides to flee after getting his ass thoroughly whooped by Goku. I'm sure most viewers familiar with Dragon Ball have already guessed that that walking black monstrosity is actually Oolong. Man, this sure is a far cry from his anime design. At least they got the personality right. Oolong has a long history of being a disgusting pervert. He's pretty useless in Dragon Ball Z, but he played a much larger role in Dragon Ball. His most famous accomplishment is from the time he used the Dragon Balls to wish for a pair of girls' panties. Man, too bad he didn't just wait around for all those vending machines to sell used panties. Sorry, Grandpa. Maybe next time. Where are you going? No! Ah! Oh! Oh! No more, please! I give up! I'm the heart of a chicken. Please don't hit me anymore, sir. I'm scared! Oh, yeah? But you had the girl to try and take advantage of her. I have a weakness. I like girls. Especially pretty girls. I just can't resist pretty girls like you! Oh, <laughs> I just can't control yes, myself! Sir. I can't... Oh, but I promise with your help, sir, I'll try to change! I don't think you'll change! Uh, I know magic. Listen, this will really open your eyes. Me. 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 <laughs> The tactic does buy Oolong enough time to- Oh god, he turned into a bat! He turned into a bat! Please, stop this. But they said the disease probably came from a bat. The movie wants me to make this joke. Do it and I order the Wuhan frog buttholes. Don't you put that evil on me. People shouldn't worry about the coronavirus. The seasonal flu kills over half a million people a year. It's much worse. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. You're saying the Wuhan isn't serious because the flu got a head start. That's like telling people not to worry about the tiger that just escaped from the zoo because the pack of lions we can't catch eat way more people each day. <laughs> well, the escaped lions already eat 15 people a day. That's much worse. How much can a tiger really eat? Try feeding this line of logic to the person that gets eaten by the tiger. Anyway. Oolong attempts to fly off, but is swiftly caught and struck down by Goku. I'm the 91st descendant of the Pig Fairy, sir. <laughs> a Pig Fairy? Hey, Grandpa said I'm the 91st descendant of the Monkey King. Oh, so that means centuries ago, your ancestor and mine were brothers. He tries to weasel his way out of the situation, but suddenly... Who's that? And I'm ending this on a cliffhanger. This video is already long as hell, so I'm definitely gonna have to split it up a bit. Who is that waiting to pounce Goku from the shadows? Has King Horn located our heroes, or is this a new threat entirely? Find out next time on Hippo Dead. Motherfuckers! I was trying to build suspense. Ugh, fuck it. Yeah, it's Yamcha. Yamcha shows up in the next scene. It's worth it though, the rest of the movie is gold. Also a special thanks to my friends that shared the Dare video on Facebook. It led to a noticeable boost, so I really appreciate it. Well, see you soon for part two. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to click on the icon on the right to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave a comment below. Click on the TV to continue watching more Hippo Dad. Till next time.